Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. This is also because someone on my YouTube channel, he asked me to test this because he said that he already started working on some patches for Risk v five, five years ago. And he was wondering if it is playable on actual Risk v hardware. Well, I think here you can see the frames per second. And I think we still have the problem that the GPU driver is not properly integrated in the system. One of the things you can try with the options is enable multi-threading. Um, it might help. Some people reported that it can help, but there are also reports where people say that in some scenarios, it actually slows down. So you just have to play around with it and see what works for you. So unfortunately, I don't think there are uh, executables or binaries uh, available for RISC-V. So you have to build it yourself. So you can go to this GitHub page. And yeah, also that you need to have the uh, game data, like the music and all the graphics. And so if you've bought the game on like GOG, or perhaps you have the original CD-ROM somewhere, then you can extract it. Um, well, to be really honest, I didn't buy this game, but this is just for research and education purposes. So from that perspective, I would say it's still allowed because I don't have the intention to be playing this for like many, many hours. This is purely because someone asked me to test this. So perhaps in the future when I do have the time to really start playing this game and also hopefully when it starts to have some more performance, then perhaps uh, I will consider actually buying this game. But for now, yeah, I just downloaded the game files. Um, since I'm not really sure about the legal status of it, I'm not going to disclose where I got it from, but uh, people that have watched more of my videos, perhaps they can figure out from the videos where I got it. But again, I'm not going to disclose it. Well, going back to actually building the game, you can see there are some prerequisites. You have to install all this. And just to make it a little bit easier, you can just go to this link. And there you can copy this command and that will install uh, all the required packages. And once you have that, then you can uh, download the source code um, yeah, I don't think there is the command anywhere for downloading the code, but uh, it's not that hard. So as you can see, here is the link. And let's see if I can still retrieve it. So... Yeah, so this is the command that I used, git clone and then the URL. And I think here you can set the name for the folder where you will 
clone the source code. So once you have that, you can go into the directory and then you can follow the instructions here. So you have to copy everything up to the hash because the hash means that everything after this is just comments. So just up to the hash. It will take quite some time to actually build it. And once that is done, I almost forgot something. Um, when I tried to compile it, I got an error message and it told me that it couldn't find the header file for SDL and it was looking for it in this directory. So I just created it and I copied the files from where I actually did uh, find the files. So. Uh, in hindsight, uh, perhaps I could have just tried to make a link from one directory. And, but as I was a bit lazy and, well, I wasn't not really thinking properly, I just copied them over and that also worked. So if you also get that error message about not being able to find the SDL header file, then yeah, you can either make a link or just copy the files to the directory that it wants. And from there, you can do the build with these three commands. And let's see. Yeah, you also need to install the game files. So let's just say you have the directory where you downloaded the source code and then go into build and then in the directory data you can put all the game files and from there As you can see, um, no, well, that one is still busy. Sorry for that. Um, so if you're in your open RCT2 directory, you can go into build and then do dot slash open RCT2 and that should start the game. Well, as you can see, the frame rate is not very high. Um, I tested some stuff, so I'm going to load in just a little test that I did. Well, and as you can see, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not fast, but it will get there eventually. So I managed to create or build one ride. Oh yeah, it's some pause, so let's unpause it. And uh, I only have one ride. Uh, I opened the park, people are coming in and your rights need to have an entry and an exit. And of course, it needs to be connected to a path. And well, it has like roughly 10 frames per second. So yeah, I think it's not really recommended to play this full screen at the moment. 
um, yeah, hopefully at some point in time the GPU will get a better driver. But I think it's, um, yeah, for me it's a little bit surprising that already a couple of programs that I tried that um, you can already compile it on Risk v without, well, I would say any problem. I mean, like uh, not being able to find the SDL header file that has got, in my opinion, nothing to do with the source code itself. So, yeah, if people have any other requests, um, I can try if I can get it working. And perhaps this will bring back some memories from a long time ago for some people. And well, for other people, this might be something that they want to have a first look at, because honestly, uh, this is the first time that I'm actually playing this. Um, I mean, back in the days I had an Amiga and I played theme park on that. Um, so I don't know which came first, uh, but yeah, before this, I never played Roller Coaster Tycoon. So yeah, this is all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.